Hey guys, this is Karan Binani from Mobi Scrub and I am with the eLife E7 which Jioni claims to be the best Android camera smartphone in the market right now. So the E7 possesses a 16 megapixel rear camera and a stunning 8 megapixel front camera. So besides this powerful sensor and stunning resolution, the E7 has been developed and customized with a large lens based on professional M8 lens solution. Basically, it's got a large sensor that captures a lot of light and it's a wide angle lens so it captures a lot from the left to the right. And an 8 megapixel camera in the front, you know, that's like, uh, like an iPhone camera, uh, an iPhone 5 camera in the front. That's brilliant and again I'll show you a demo of this uh, towards the later part of the video. So let's jump into the software bit and see what the application looks like and what it can do. Now there are two camera applications. One is the stock application uh, that comes loaded in the in the phone, and another one is uh, called Charm Cam. And again, we'll talk about this. But first, let's look into the regular camera app. Now it's got tap to focus. Uh, it's got zoom, so you can just pinch and zoom in and zoom out. And it's fairly nice, you know, if you've got decent lighting around, uh, even zoomed pictures. So it's got digital 4x zoom. It's quite good actually. There's a quick toggle on the left to uh, you know, enable uh, flash, a button to toggle between the front and the rear camera, and quick settings right on top left. And you've got uh, the shutter key. Now the shutter speeds are not too high and this is probably because this is a review unit and maybe when the phone comes out in January, uh, you know, they'll, they'll have this fixed and the shutter speeds are going to be much higher. Now you can switch to the camera, the video camera, which records full HD videos and uh, it's got OIS, so you know, it's, it's got a built-in stabilization, um, which, which probably works well. I really haven't tried that. Just tap to focus while shooting, and you can also zoom in while you're shooting, so that's, that's brilliant, right? It's, it's something that people really look for in most cameras. Now there's a camera button on the top that you can press and take still pictures while you're shooting, so that's, that's, that's standard nowadays and it comes with most uh, high-end smartphones. Now let me show you a video sample, a full HD video sample taken by the eLife E7 and here it is. So this has been shot by the E7 and I'll be honest here, you know when I tap on this wooden stick to kind of focus here, you see that there is a slight overexposure behind the scene and then it kind of goes back. So again, you know I really think this is something to do with the uh, with the update and once the update arises and the, the actual unit comes in, uh, this problem is not going to be there. So let's jump into the camera settings and see what we have. Now there is an innovative SR auto function which is an intelligent scene recognition function which eliminates the hassle of changing the settings every time as it automatically adapts to the environmental uh, lighting. So portrait, micro, night, whatever it is, it automatically kind of you know switches to that mode and takes uh, a picture which is well suited. You can obviously change uh, between uh, you know different picture sizes. So whether you want 16 megapixel or 13 or 12, it's really up to you and you can change that anytime. And because this is the best camera Android smartphone out there, uh, so pretty much like the Galaxy S4 Zoom or the Galaxy camera, even the Nokia Lumia 1020, this, this device allows you to play with different settings such as exposure settings, the white balance modes, ISO values, and you know you can change them to take really nice pictures if you know what you're doing. You can also you know, toggle between various capture modes. So you know if someone makes a V sign, the picture is automatically clicked, or if it recognizes a smile on the scene, it takes a picture automatically. And then there's a self timer as well. You can also switch between various modes, uh, shooting modes such as HDR, which is high dynamic range, uh, sport function. Then there is uh, panoramic. Uh, so yeah, you know, night mode, standard scene modes that you have. And now this is the 8 megapixel front shooter which is activated and as you can see the quality is pretty amazing. So apart from the regular camera application, there's a Charm Cam app that comes preloaded on the E7. A lot of times, you know, you want to take selfies and you really want them to come out well. Now, with the 8 megapixel front facing camera and beauty shot mode in the Charm Cam, you can pretty much do that. And you know, you can expect great pictures to come up. You've got these uh, filters as well. So these are live filters and you know, you can take pictures. Uh, even before uh, taking a picture, you know what it's going to look like. 
So does the E7 have a great camera? Well, yes, you know, it's definitely better than the S3, the S4, the Note 2, the Note 3, the HTC ones. Uh, but, uh, you know, I just hope that Gioni soon fixes the low shutter speeds and uh, the overexposure issues that we are facing with most pictures. But overall, it's a great camera phone and uh, definitely if you're into taking selfies and taking a lot of pictures when you're out, this is the smartphone for you.